Hey everyone, this is Big Face from Big Face Robotics. You're looking at the remains of the RC robot. There's not a lot left. I've taken it apart. Um, I wanted to start again and, and try something new. Uh, one of the main drivers for doing this was the gearing of the drive gearbox. Uh, the original design here just used two spare gears to, to gear this down a little bit. But I, I felt the robot was still a bit too quick. Great fun for driving around. But uh, as a robot I wanted a slow, steady uh, platform to work with. So I had a couple of options. Either add a few more spare gears to here and design something. Or um, do something completely different. Uh, and make a nice compact drive unit in the form of a, a worm drive gearbox. Uh, fully 3D printed. Which is, uh, which is what I've done. Okay, so the first job was to do a CAD design. I grabbed a gear generator online, I'll put a link in the description for generating the worm gear and the driven spare gear and then I designed a, a housing around this um, and a, a mount for the motor. So I've got three bearings in there, one, uh, two supporting the drive shaft and one supporting the end of the worm gear. So I set about printing the housing, um, I recorded the first attempt, you'll see a nasty bit of warping on this one which I fixed in the, the second uh, attempt and uh, I had to modify the design slightly anyway so, um, so that was sorted so you can see the design with the three bearings they're just press fit into the housing uh, the two for the drive shaft and the one for the end of the worm gear You can see the two gears ready to print. I printed them, uh, the worm gear stood up as you can see on a, a slow speed setting and it, it came out quite well. There was a bit of overhang, a bit of sort of droop. Um, I wasn't sure how this was going to work out. Um, and in initial testing, you can see the worm gear was a bit weak and actually broke a couple of times. I had uh, two or three goes at this, I added a bit more strengthening to it. And, uh, and in the end I came up with a design that, uh, that worked. You can see a few of the uh, ruined prints there. The next job was to cut the drive shafts, cut the flats in them. I used the miller machine. I milled a, a small flat section for the retaining screws to, uh, to grab onto. Cleaned them up with a file after this and, uh, and they look good then. A quick test fit of the uh, of the drive axle and uh, spare gear uh, with the wheel on it, and uh, these little bearings are great. This wheel spun for ages, uh, very little uh, friction. So with all the parts printed out, um, it was ready for assembly. The first job was to insert a drive shaft a metal rod into the end of the worm gear. I did this to, to help with uh, the strength and it made this uh, awesome noise when I put it in. There's a nice tight interference fit there, that's not coming out in a hurry. No glue or anything needed. So I carried on with assembly and uh, here's a speeded up version for you. So with assembly complete I added a bit of lubrication to the worm gear. Um, I'm not sure how these are going to wear over time uh, but I thought a little bit of oil uh, couldn't hurt. I've also tried some other lubrication, some greases, uh, just to see which works best and I think any sort of lubrication is going to be better than none. I've 
got concerns that the gears are going to wear down over time. But, um, but we'll have to find out after running these for a little while. So you can see the gearbox is working. Um, it's a bit noisy and not the smooth, not as smooth as I was hoping. Um, I think that's partly due to the print quality. Uh, but a little bit of wear on the gears might actually um, help in this situation because the, the rougher areas may may wear down. So uh, again, only time will tell. So there we go, a working worm drive gearbox. Uh, should be quite practical to use. Gives a good, good gear reduction in a uh, in a compact unit. So as always, thanks for watching. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video and I'll be back very soon.